you. A Memphis family is breathing another sigh of relief after a Fox 13 problem solvers investigation. In May, we introduced you to the Grays. The family had been living in a rental home with no wheelchair ramp. The problem, a member of the family is completely disabled. After our report, generous Mid-Southerners came out to build a ramp. But as the Fox 13 problem solver Scott Mattis explains, there's been a major change. Well, good evening. We're back here on Leith Street, where, if you remember, the Gray family used to live in this house. And a few months ago, the problem solvers helped out the family with a brand new state-of-the-art handicap ramp. The new problem... The Gray family moved down the street, and with the help of McClurkin Motors, the Germantown Civitan Club, and Target Medical, we're moving the entire ramp down the street to Manassas. This was the problem. Every day, step by step, the Gray family helped their own. Confined to this wheelchair, helping Latarius go up, then down these steep steps. I pray to God that somebody help me. Miss Gray called the Fox 13 problem solvers. We came, we saw, then we solved her problem. More than a dozen volunteers came out in force to build a new handicap ramp at their Leith Street home. But fast forward a few months, the Gray family moved down to Manassas. So again, our friends with Target Medical, McClurkin Motors, and the Germantown Civitan Club came out to help. This time to move, then rebuild the ramp. Miss Gray was in, in need, and we helped her out. We helped her grandson out. We were just trying to, uh, you know, help them accomplish their goals, get to school every day. Sunday afternoon in the heat, Brent, Jerry, and Richard got to work rebuilding what they had already built. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that dust. With blood and sweat, the work was grueling and hard. But they know it was all being done for a boy in need named Latarius. Okay, we're down here on Manassas Street, and this is no easy task for the guys here. The heat index is well over 100 degrees. Now what they're doing is putting together the new ramp that is now a few months old and installing it to this brand new house. Nail guns and hammers working overtime on this summer afternoon. But the purpose for this handicap ramp is to ease the pain. The boards and the pieces being put back together one by one. It was soon that the ramp looked like a ramp once again. The pieces fitting together like a puzzle. The men working together like a team. After the long day that seemed so much longer, the job was finally done and the ramp completed. So now as these generous men look at the job they've done, they know it wasn't about our Fox 13 News report and it wasn't about themselves. It was, though, for a boy named Latarius. We just wanted to do something to help this young man. Uh, you know, you, in your original story, you saw what, what they had to go through to get him down those, those what, eight or nine high steps. This is a lot easier for them now. This, this, is, this is great. If all of us give back a little bit, it, it makes a world of difference to everybody. A few hours here and there, a few hundred dollars for materials and that, it, it really helps people and affects the whole neighborhood. So after two hours of hard work in this brutal heat, the folks from McClurkin Motors, Target Medical, and the Germantown Civitan Club have finally completed the ramp. Of course, as you remember, it was just a few months ago that they put it at the old house off Leaf Street, and now it is complete here on Manassas. Reporting in Memphis, Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News.